What's up, this is Ryan with Planet Cheapskate. In this video, we are gonna be talking more about the closing disclosure or CD for short. When is the closing disclosure signed? What information is in the closing disclosure? And finally, is receiving the closing disclosure a good sign of your home closing? In this video, I will teach you everything you need to know and to be looking out for whenever you are presented with your closing disclosure. Also, be sure to stick around for a very valuable loan hack regarding the closing disclosure at the end of this video that will help you get to the closing table faster without any unnecessary delays. But first, I'd just like to take a very brief moment to personally invite you to subscribe and join our community. I do a home loan rate update every Friday going into the weekend, along with a new video every Thursday helping you manage through the world of credit, real estate, and home loans. Also, when you do subscribe, be sure to hit that little bell and it will alert you whenever I release fresh content. Now with all that out of the way, let's dive right in. Your closing disclosure is a very important document. This document confirms the estimates that you were presented on your loan estimate at the beginning of the loan process. If any of the allowable fees or costs have changed, then it will be noted on the CD. The closing disclosure is typically signed towards the end of your home loan journey, and it sometimes can be signed in what is called an early CD, if all the final numbers have been figured and verified. Getting your CD is a very good sign that your loan is doing well and you will be closing on your home very soon. However, receiving your CD does not mean your loan is clear to close or final approved. Receiving and signing the CD just means the initial final numbers have been processed. Now these numbers could still change once the initial CD is balanced with the settlement agent. And what they will do is they'll make sure that the local fees and taxes are correct. So what is the closing disclosure? The closing disclosure is a five page form that is required to be provided by the lender. It describes in detail the critical points of your mortgage loan, including purchase price, loan fees, interest rate, estimated real estate taxes, and insurance, closing costs, and other expenses. This information is standardized among all lenders to make the information easy to understand. It also makes it easy to compare the closing disclosure to your last received loan estimate. The lender must provide you with a closing disclosure at least three days before your closing. Now the purpose of the closing disclosure is very important as it is one of the final forms you receive before you close on your new loan. So what is included in the closing disclosure? The closing disclosure will list the terms and costs associated with your mortgage, allowing you to compare them to those listed on the loan estimate form you were given at the beginning of the process. The LE and CD are very closely related to one another. The LE or loan estimate you receive at the beginning of your loan process and the CD or closing disclosure you receive at the end. Back in October of 2015, the LE replaced the GFE or good faith estimate of old and the closing disclosure replaced the HUD-1 document. One of the most important things to remember about the closing disclosure is that by law it is required to be received and acknowledged by you at least three business days before you are able to close. This includes Monday through Saturday. There is nothing anyone can do to get rid of this three day waiting period. If this waiting period hasn't transpired before your scheduled close, then your closing will have to be extended or pushed back. There are basically three types of fees on your closing disclosure. There are fees that can change by any amount, fees that cannot change at all, and then there are fees that can change by up to 10%. So first, the fees that can change by any amount, these include prepaid interest, homeowner's insurance premium, initial escrow deposits, third-party fees not required by the lender, and fees required by the lender that you are free to shop around for yourself, whether you went with who the lender suggested or not. Second, fees that may not change. These include any fees paid directly to the lender, brokerage, or loan officer, fees that were required by the lender that you were not allowed to shop for, and any transfer taxes. Finally, the fees that are allowed to increase by up to 10% include recording fees, title fees, and fees that are required services performed by a third party provider. So just a quick summary of what we went over in this video, you will sign your CD once the numbers provided to you on your LE have been confirmed, possibly adjusted, verified, and processed. These aren't necessarily your final closing numbers. The CD will need to be signed three days before you close on your home, and no one can get that rule waived. Not even the president, not even the pope. 
The closing disclosure is a five page document that is standardized across every lender in an easy to read format. It includes your loan terms, projected payments, itemized closing cost, closing costs that may have been already paid, and your total funds needed or received at close. There are three types of fees on your closing disclosure. Fees that may change by any amount necessary, fees that can only change up to 10%, and finally, fees that may not change at all. There are also very important loan disclosures on your CD. These include disclosures regarding assumption, repayment demand features, negative amortization, prepayment penalties, late and partial payment terms, and finally, any security interests that may be used for the home loan. This is typically the property itself. The last thing you'll find on your CD is the contact information of all the professionals that assisted you throughout the process. So as promised, a closing disclosure based loan hack that will get you your loan closed quicker without any inconvenient delays. So the whole secret to getting your home closed fastest when it comes to your CD is to get what's called an early CD signed. To do this, you need to get several documents to the lender or assist your processor in getting these documents. One of the most important is the appraisal invoice. Now you may need to call the appraisal management company to get this invoice early yourself. Once you have this and other invoices, the processor has the title documents and you've signed up for your homeowner's insurance and you got that information to your processor, you should be able to request the early CD. So there you have it. Everything you need to know about when the closing disclosure is signed, what info is in the closing disclosure, along with a loan hack that will help you wrap up your loan much, much faster. If you're looking for a video that walks you through the closing disclosure step by step, then click this link here and it will take you to that video. Please leave a comment below if I missed anything or you have any questions. I'd love to hear from you. And listen, if you gained value or knowledge from this video, do me a huge favor and smash that like button so more people just like you can see this info. And if you like this video, I'd like to invite you to watch one of my other videos. Over here, I explain and hack every major home loan product. And over here, YouTube has determined that you may enjoy this video. Thank you for tuning in. Until next time, best of luck.